Hello everyone! This is Luigi Zabala Tilon and in line with our subject Multicultural Diversity of Tourism and Hospitality Management. Today we're gonna study about one place and the known effects of characteristic of employment in the tourism that affects to their economy. Our chosen place are one of the most beautiful place in our very own country Philippines. And the place that we choose is from the southwest part of Luzon, comprises the eastern half of Boswanga Islands, and a part of Nimaropa for B region. In the province of Palawan, specifically the Curon Palawan. in a web of social and economic relationships and by contributing to local causes they also help promote more authentic experiences to travelers there's a lot of tourist spots hotels and restaurants man-made or natural attractions in Coral Palawan that really boost their employment rate and economical growth and development, most of these attractions can be assessed as a part of organized tours, either by catering a private ride or by joining a group tour. One of these are Kayangan Lake, Barracuda Lake, Twin Lagoon, Banul Beach, CYC Beach, Siete Pecados, Mount Tapias, Makinit Hot Spring, Kalawit Safari, Black Island, Pamalikan Island, Luzon Coral Garden and Gun Boat, Malkapuya Island, Bulog Dos and Banana Island, Fireflies and Plankton Tour, Parasailing, Water Sports, William Island, Coron Town Tour, Shipwreck Diving, Seafood Galore. Source for the Philippines, particularly remote coastal and island communities. The tourism sector has embedded the policies of promoting sustainable tourism by adopting relevant strategies and action plans. There is a lot of programs and development projects offered in Coron Palawan, sustainable tourism, development, and stewardship for Coron discovered by backpackers, embraced by adventurers with no regard for conserving the rich natural environment of the island which attract tourists in the first place. The Coron Initiative was Tourism and Development Incorporation or SSTDI, CEO and President Susan Santos de Cardenas, and the advisor during her first visit to Coron in June 2010. Ms. Cardenas first request authorization from Rainforest Alliance, the UNWTO partner which formulated the first Sustainable Tourism Best Practice Guidelines. 
sustainable tourism is satisfying current tourists and the uh, host community needs while protecting the improving future opportunities. Travel tourists in industry sectors, tour operators, and travel agents. Public sectors, politician statement, uh, public civil servants, government agencies, LGUs in charge of environment governance planning and development tourism. Hospitality sectors, hotels, and resorts, restaurants, bars, owners, and managers, decision makers. These are some programs and opportunities for Koran Palawan citizen. Tourism service and economic, uh, orgo, and eco product uh, providers, uh, small and medium businesses, owners, leisure, spa, beauty, food, and health product services. Real estate and landowner developers, contractors, architects, builders, suppliers, energy, water, organic firming, and the recycling sectors. Land, water, and air transport, tour bus operators, cruise ships, and airlines, recreation and sports facilities, scuba, snorkeling, and mountaineering adventures, outdoor shops and gears, NGO, cooperative peoples, organizations, environmental, conservation, and green advocacies groups, academ, educators, and youth leaders, concerned citizen, and sustainable advocates. That's how tourism employment in Koran Palawan is very effective. My recommendation when you are going to choose Koran Palawan is because Koran Palawan offers a very beautiful tourist spot and it is one of the best uh, tourist spots here in the Philippines because of the beautiful places and beaches that they offer. Also, Koran Palawan offers many different kinds of diving spots because of the World War II era. There are so many ships that has been uh, under the uh, under the sea and also they offer uh, they also have rock formation uh, a very beautiful clear water and also the spot diving which is um, some tourists um, some tourists call it as paradise and they also they are not crowded because they are a remote control area Because it is best known for world-class World War II era wreck diving, but the island also offers limestone, karst landscapes, beautiful beaches, crystal clear freshwater lakes, and shallow water coral reefs. One more idea that may transpire us in studying about the effect of characteristic of employment in Koron Palawan. We need to advocate and spouse tourism development that does not destroy our rich natural heritage which attract tourists to visit in the first place. We must ensure we don't only protect the environment for the future generations. We also improve governance and stewardship. Let us learn the lessons from other beach island destinations here in the Philippines which self-destruct due to sustainable development. Again, I am Luis Zabala Pilon, and in line with our subject, Multicultural Diversity of Tourism and Hospitality Management, thank you so much for watching.